Today we're going to be doing two math pages, 95 and 96, 97 and 98. And we're going to look at factors. We're going to be learning about factors today. Go ahead and be getting those pages out. Galatians 2.20 says, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And there's no reason for us to live a life of selfishness. We have Christ who showed a wonderful example of that as He gave up His life for us. He died so that we may accept His free gift and be saved from our sins. He lived the perfect life and made it possible for us to have that same view from God of us, of sinless, if we accept his death on the cross as replacement for our sins that we've committed. Okay, and this is what it looks like on the first page, 95. And at the top, the fact says pairs of factors are two numbers which form a certain product when multiplied together. So we see pairs of factors here of 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. Both of those are pairs of factors. The pairs are 1 and 15 and 3 and 5. Those are pairs of factors. And then your factors for the number 15 would be 1, 3, 5, and 15. And you notice that they're written in numerical order, meaning they go from 1 and then 3 and then 5 and then 15. Rather than out of order, there's order to them. And so our number is 15. Our pairs of factors are the two numbers that multiplied together will equal 15. And then all we did with those numbers, it was we rewrote them right here. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit more of this. I'm going to put another number up right now on this paper. Let's go with the number 12. What are the pairs of factors for 12? What are the pairs of factors for 12? So what numbers, when multiplied together, will equal 12? Pairs of factors. Well, the pairs of factors for 12, the easiest one, I think, is 1 times 12. Then 2 times 6. And 3 times 4. So these are our pairs of factors for the number 12. Now if I were to ask you what are the factors for 12, all you'd do is you'd give me the numbers that we used right here, but you'd give them to me in numerical order. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And those are all the numbers that go into 12 evenly. And so those are our factors for 12. If I ask for the pairs of factors, you're going to show me two numbers multiplied together that will equal it. So now you see it again with the number 15. The pairs of factors were 1 times 15, 3 times 5. And then the factors were 1, 3, 5, and then 15. So let's go ahead and look at the class practice. They've done a lot of the first ones for you. It says complete the pairs of factors that form these products. Remember, products is answer. So they did 1 times 8 equals 8. 2 times 4 equals 8, 1 times 9 equals 9, and 3 times 3 equals 9. 1 times 10 equals 10, and 2 times 5 equals 10. 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 3 times 4 equals 12. That's the same one we did on our page. 
16. 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. All of those pairs of factors equal 16. 11, we only get 1, and it's 11. 1 times 11 is the only pairs of factors for 11. And then your factors for 11 are 1 and 11. So what they've done in number 2 is they're asking you for the factors for each of the numbers. And if you notice, the same ones we did there now goes here. It's 8 again. And 9 again is there. So 10, well, we can look up there and go down. And it's 1 2, 5, 10. Make sure you have them in the correct order. Numerical order, they call that. All right, 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 16 would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 11 is just 1 and 11. Three A. Mrs. Gwaltney drove 301 miles at the average speed of 43 miles per hour. How many hours did it take her to drive 301 miles? So you need to divide your 301 by 43. And that will be your answer. That many hours. B says Mary Beth finished her speed drill in three and three-fifths minutes. And Jasmine finished hers in two and two-fifth minutes. How much longer did it take Mary Beth to finish her speed bill? So, what you're going to have to do is subtract here. We've done this before. You're going to take this and then subtract that from it, and that will be your answer. Okay, go ahead and look at the next page that we have, 97. 97 says, for class practice, number one, write the product for which these are pairs of factors. Well, all of these are answered by writing 100. Make it look better than my 100. 1 times 100 is 100. 2 times 50 is 100. 4 times 25 is 100. 5 times 20 is 100. 10 times 10 is 100. So next one would be 10. Next one, those are all pairs of factors for 30. Next one, they're all pairs of factors for 25. Next one, they're all pairs of factors for 12. Next one, they're all pairs of factors for 50. Number two, complete the pairs of factors for these numbers. Okay, our number we're looking at is 15. One times what would be 15? Well, one times 15. 3 times what would be 15? 3 times 5. Okay, now we're looking at 20. The number 20. 1 times 20. 2 times 10. And 4 times 5. Two. 1 times 17 is 17. Next one, what would equal 9? 1 times 9, 3 times 3. Thirty-five. One times 35, and 5 times 7. Hey kitty. For 40, it'd be 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. 
And if I were to ask you what are your factors for 40, you'd say 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 40. Those are your factors for 40. Number three, it says write all the different factors for these numbers. Okay, 15. Well, all of them you know it's going to be 1 and the number. So 1 and 15, 1 and 20, 1 and 17, that one's done. 1 and 9, 1 and 35, 1 and 40. Because you know that 1 goes into all of these. And then whatever number it is, of course that goes into it. Okay, we'll look at the first one. What goes into 15? I know that 3 does. Well, 3 times what would be 15? Oh, 3 times 5. So 1, 3, 5, and 15 is our answer for that one. 20. Remember, if it's an even number, meaning if it ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, if it ends in one of those, you know that 2 goes into it. Well, this one ends in a 0, so you know that 2 goes into it. So I'll put a 2. 2 times what is 20? 2 times 10. And then I also know that 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, we already got 17 done. Let's look at 9. 3 times 3 is 9, so that works. Let's look at 35. What else goes into it? Well, it can't be 2, because it has to end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, and it ends in a 5. So it wouldn't be 2, but I know that 5 times 7 is 35, so 5 and 7. This number does end in a 0, so we know that 2 goes into it. Oh yeah, 2 times 20 would be 40. And what else would go in the 40? I know 5 does. Let's see, 8 times 5. I know that 10 does too. I think there's a line down here that I didn't get where the 40 should have gone. So it should say 40 here. And this should say 20. Maybe I'll make this a little better for you guys here. I ran out of room on my screen, so I'm going to add a line for it to hopefully make sense. So 40, 20, 10, 4, 5, oops. So it's 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 40. Okay, how many quarts of punch are in 7 gallons? There's 4 quarts in each gallon, so all you have to do is 7 times 4, and that would be your answer. Calvary Church bought a new car for their pastor in honor of his 30 years of Christian service. The car costs $24,382. The sales tax was $1,706.74. What was the cost of the car including the sales tax? To figure that out, you're going to have to add the two numbers they give you. So you take your 24,382 and put decimal point zero zero and you add your one seven zero six seven four and when you add that up make sure you have a dollar sign in your answer and then you'll know what your answer is five says to write m for which ones are metric unit and e for the english units and remember to figure these out if you look in the back of your book there's a page in the back that will show your metric measures. And there's a page that will show your English measures. And then you'll know what a gallon is, or a kilometer is, or an inch, or a centimeter. You'll know what everything is to be able to figure those out. So we'll put an E if it's 
English measure, so that one's English. B here is English. The bottom two here are M for metric and M for metric. So you'll have to do the rest of those on your own, and go ahead and do the rest of the pages on your own. You can do it. You guys are smart. I believe in you.